When you think about business continuity and disaster recovery, also known as BCDR, one of the very first things that comes to mind is how do you assure that you're protected from an unforeseen site outage that may render your business offline? Luckily, Veeam has replication built into our core product, and if you're leveraging this, you can take a source-side workload, replicate it to another location, perhaps going from the East Coast to the West Coast, or your production data center to a standby DR site. The replicated copy will always be registered in inventory on production storage, simply powered down and not in use. Whenever the time comes, whether it's a natural disaster, a large scale site issue, such as a sand failure perhaps, you can fail over to that replicated copy and have your business back online in just a few moments. How do you assure that those replicas are ready to go if you need them? We also have a capability along with Sure Backup that's known as Sure Replica that enables you to test those replicated copies to assure that they also will start up properly, applications initialize, they respond to ping and heartbeat checks, and when we're done testing those, just like with Sure Backup, we'll power them down and provide you a detailed audit trail report with date and timestamps so that you know and you have proof that you're testing the readiness of your DR site which can also come in very handy if you're ever in an audit situation. So let's take a look at exactly how you configure Sure Replica inside the software, as well as what options are available. Okay, now that we're in the lab, let's explore exactly how you set up and configure Sure Replica. So Sure Backup and Sure Replica are a pair of features that enable you to fully verify recoverability of your virtual machines. With Sure Backup, what we're doing is turning on and verifying that the VMs are fully bootable, they start up properly and initialize so that you can run verification checks such as a ping and a heartbeat check. Then we finally shut them down and provide you a detailed audit trail report with date and timestamps so that you can prove that you verified true recoverability of your backups in the case of Sure Backup. We offer the same thing for replication if you're using Veeam to initiate replicas to your DR or remote location. So we're doing the same concept. We're going to turn on the replicas this time, verify that they also are ready to go. They boot, they fully initialize. You can do ping and heartbeat checking, verify that they are ready should you need to do a failover and then power them down and provide a detailed audit trail report with the same date and timestamp information that Sure Backup provides. The key thing to understand is when we're doing Sure Backup, we're actually powering on the virtual machines from the deduped and compressed Veeam backup files. With Sure Replica, it's entirely different because the VMs are already registered in inventory in another VMware environment. So really all we're doing is turning a VM on that's already there on a production data store. Now the key is we leverage the data lab in both of these features, both Sure Backup and Sure Replica take advantage of the data lab technology because when we're doing these verification checks, the production counterpart of the virtual machine is assumed to be still running. So if we just did these verifications out in the production infrastructure, you would run into issues like IP conflicts and DNS conflicts. So the data lab enables us to do the verification in an isolated environment without creating any production interference. Now the one thing that you're going to notice inside the Veeam product when you start digging in is right away you'll see the Sure Backup job listed in the ribbon tab when you're on the job section but where's the Sure Replica job? So let me explain how you do a Sure Backup and or Sure Replica job and where you delineate the source that we're going to use. Now keep in mind, if we edit a Sure Backup job, just to show you a few options along the way, the first step is after you name it, you're gonna pick which virtual lab you're gonna use to actually do the verifications. Okay, you can have multiple virtual labs. You can have one at the production location, one at your colo or your DR site. The application group is going to be critical. The application group is where you're specifying what source you're pulling from. 
So in this case, you'll be able to see that the source here actually says replica instead of backups. Okay, now if we navigate down to the backup infrastructure and go under the application group section and we take a look at this on-demand sandbox for SQL, which is the one we're using right now, you'll notice when we get to the virtual machine section, you can see that the source says replica. Now when you're building an application group and you go to add a virtual machine, you have three choices. You can choose from backups, from replicas, or if you have a supported SAN vendor from storage snapshots. Now in this case, we did from replicas. Now the same thing would be true. You can still modify the amount of memory usage the VMs are going to use when they're leveraged in this capacity using the application group. And if you need further explanation on how the application group works or perhaps how the virtual lab is deployed, we've already created other videos that you can find on veeam.com under the learn section. Now, once you have selected the source as a replica, the job type that you're going to create to do a sure replica verification check is actually a sure backup job. Okay, so you're gonna build the sure backup job but the crucial element is when you're selecting the application group here, this is going to delineate, we're not actually pulling from backups for this particular job, we're gonna be pulling from our replicas that already exist in another location. Now, another use case here, as you can see in our example, is we're actually using our replicas, in this case, to power an on-demand sandbox, which is another great use of replication with Veeam. Because remember, when we're doing the on-demand sandbox, essentially, we're still going through all the verification checks that we've been talking about in this video. We're gonna do a ping test, a heartbeat check to make sure everything is ready to go. But the key is, if you notice here at the bottom, under the keep the application group running, this is where you delineate, are you using this just to verify and then turn everything off, or do you wanna use this for true sandbox functionality so you wanna keep things running? So in this case, if we choose to keep the application group running after the job completes, like we've done in this example, what you'll notice over here on the left in vSphere is rather than seeing the VM name and a long UUID inside the data lab resource pool, which is what you would see if you're leveraging the on-demand sandbox from your backups, Instead, we're just turning on the replicated VMs that are already there in inventory. Just like you can see here with this domain controller and the SQL server. They're already running because they're replicas. We didn't need to power them on from backups. Now here's the really crucial part to understand. The current one that I have highlighted here is the domain controller in production, the way it exists in production. If we zoom in right here on the network section, Notice how in production, it's connected to the port group called LAN. And this means it's got full access, you know, to the management network, the internet, etc. If we go down to the remote site, click on that same replicated VM, because it's been turned on using the data lab technology, notice it's no longer connected to a production network. It's actually connected to an isolated network thanks to the data lab functionality, which means this replica is going to be completely quarantined inside the data lab instead of being publicly accessible on your primary network. And this is how we enable you to do these tests and verifications without bumping into any IP conflicts or DNS issues. So that's how the on-demand sandbox as well as the sure replica testing process works if you're using Veeam for replication. There's two key functionalities that we're talking about here with sure replica verifications and on-demand sandbox pulling from the replicas that can drastically enhance performance of your sandbox experience because now you're not pulling from deduped and compressed backup files over the network. You're now actually powering that sandbox from replicas that are fully hydrated, that already exist on production storage. So you're gonna get a much better performing experience when you need to take advantage of sandbox use cases. 
And the other thing to think about is, this is yet another way to leverage your DR site that otherwise might just be sitting there collecting dust waiting on a disaster to happen. This is another way to take advantage of those replicas that are otherwise just powered off and dormant. You can use those to drive a sandbox whenever you need to do testing. So thank you very much for watching this video. For more great how-to tutorials, take a look at veeam.com under the learn section. Enjoy the rest of your day and thanks for watching.